Okay, so I promised yesterday that I would show people how to play the intro to. Uh, I'll just stop doing that. It's getting on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Losing my glasses for that. Um, Under the Bridge by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So um, here we go. So no, it's tricky because uh, you've got to use your fingers and your you know finger one and two. And the guy that did it, I uh, can't remember his name now. Great player. John, da, 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 da. Um, he's a really great player, but he has a style all of his own. And when you're trying to copy somebody's style uh, that's a little bit scruffily cool, which his is, Hendrix was the same. It's tricky. It's like, it's like trying to uh, copy somebody's handwriting. It's the same sort of thing, you know. So you've got to get into how they play it. Um, and he, when you watch him play, you watch after you watch me doing this, I'm playing it the way it was on the record. This guy, you, you'll never see him playing it the same way again. But we have to play it like it was on the record, otherwise people will think we've got it wrong, which uh, we haven't, you know, and we're gonna get it right. So let's get straight into it. Um, the first chord you're gonna play is a D, but not like that, as you would you recognize it. We're gonna play a D like this. Uh, it's, it, you might recognize this shape. If I was to take that away, you'll notice that it's like a C, a simplified C exactly what it is but we're playing it two frets up from this normal position which makes it a D. So let's start. I'll shout out the um, string numbers. Five and two. Four, three, four, two, three. I'll do that again. Let me put this light on. Somewhere. Bear with me. Okay. I've got a couple of notes on here. So five and three, uh, five and two. And then bring your little finger to the fourth fret and you're gonna play single note with your thumb. Fourth fret, second with your first finger. place for the next leg, which is a, a fourth string, fourth fret, second fret, open, fourth string, fifth string, second fret. All right, so let's put those bits together. Now this is tricky, this bit. You're going to put these fingers two and three back onto your C but you're gonna leave your little finger off because when you play your five and two this time, you're gonna hammer that little finger on, which is quite tricky. And you're gonna play, play five and two, four, five, three, ringing out at the same time. And then you put that finger back on and you then, with your thumb, brush down from the fifth string. Move it up, which takes it to an E chord. What does that mean? It just means you move that shape up two frets, all right? Was a D, now it's an E. Okay, so. And then back to your F sharp shape. Six, five, four, five, three, Start that again, all right? So let's play it slowly. Can you see what I'm doing?
F sharp, it's it's six, five, four, five, then three, four, five, three, four, five, and then up to your to an E with an open bass note. An E is played with a bar across five strings. Use your little finger or your third finger to play strings four, three, and two at the ninth fret. G sharp minor to an A. So repeat. So no, you didn't do the F sharp, then you went straight to the A. So I'll say I'll do that from the beginning again. E, B, slide up to the C sharp minor, G sharp minor. minor but not sliding up this time so A and again E B C sharp minor G sharp minor to an A and at the end we've got an E major 7 alright That's basically it. Now there's more to it, but you can pick that up from, you know, from YouTube. There's loads of people that do it, but I just wanted to make sure that you played the um, the beginning correctly because that's the bit that everybody mocks up. All right, so um, the rest of it you'll easy get. All right, so uh, what are we going to play next? Um, what about Aerosmith? That's a good one. Uh, the one they did with Run DMC, Walk This Way. We'll do that one next. All right. Have a good night. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.